Hey Glamours, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. If this is your first time on my channel, hola, como estas? Sally, bonjour, wagwan. And this intro is going to be straight to the point so we can jump into the video because I'm so excited for you guys to see this makeup look, the infamous 10 minute face in real time unedited and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about last year I filmed this video right here and it blew up and that's how a lot of people on my channel know me tons and tons of comments there were like no you did not do this face in 10 minutes you were lying there are too many steps for you to follow and there will be a timer at the back and you guys can see me do this literally this whole face in 10 minutes and obviously I cannot edit that because the timer will give it away that being said I'm going to quickly do my shout out and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about I give shout outs to two comments um, from a previous video so these are from my previous video I'm going to link the video right here and the first shout out goes to Royal Vibes. Royal Vibes, thank you so much for your comment, girl. I'm dying because I had to put that in my video because, you know, sometimes it's not all about the perfection and the slow-mo. Sometimes you got to go in there with the real AF moments. Second comment, shout out goes to Salem Beauty. Salem Beauty, girl, I'm still waiting for you to respond to me. Um, are you talking about the Tarte drama in terms of the foundation shade that they did or is there something else I'm missing? Anyways, that's all for the shout out. And also, please don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time on my channel. And and then also don't forget to check out the previous video that I uploaded last year to see um, the difference and um, some of the steps that have changed from last year till this year. We're going to jump right into this video. Alright guys, let's do this! <laughs> So I'm only going to be talking for parts where I've changed um, a couple techniques. So for my brows this year, I'm liking like the color closer to my brow hair. Whereas the last video, I liked more of like a warmer brow. Hence why I used Chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this time around, I'm using Dark Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Alright, so for my concealer, I'm doing something different where I mix my chestnut concealer and my fawn concealer so it is not too dark but not too light to carve out my brows, especially the under part. Just because in the morning if you're trying to do your makeup, you don't want your brows to be like super highlighted if you don't have shadows on it, you know what I mean? So this color is fawn and chestnut mixed together, also something I started doing differently compared to my last video. Of course, I go ahead and carve out my top part with my chest not only, um, just to make the brows pop. And the goal is just to make the brows look presentable. You don't want it to look super perfect. You just want it to be presentable so you can walk out your door and look good.
Also, something I do differently now is I'm using my chestnut concealer to cover my dark circles um, and blend out my dark lid and um, around my lip area and stuff like that. Whereas in my last video, I did this step and then I went in with fawn concealer to make it a little bit brighter. I find that now I like my face to not be so highlighted. If I'm doing a 10 minute face, I just want it to be a natural looking. So no more fun concealer for this part. Also, another tip that I like doing now is to blend out my concealer with a buffer brush, not a beauty blender, because if you're in a rush in the morning, you don't have time to actually start wetting your beauty blender, blending out everything and making sure your beauty blender is not too wet. Best bet, buffer brush. And use whatever that is left over in your brush and just brush over your face and it might look like I'm putting concealer all over my face I am not I'm just putting whatever that is left on my brush on the rest of my face and make sure you set your whole face with powder. Just because I don't use primer anymore, that's another trick that I do nowadays, I don't use primer um, anymore on a daily basis, but if you're really, really oily, please use primer at least on your T-zone area. I don't just because I set it with a ton of powder, so by the time I get oily, I don't mind powdering my nose at work. So make sure you use lots of translucent powder to set everything. And my neck might look darker because naturally I do suffer from hyperpigmentation on my neck, so that is something beyond my control. So I can't do anything like that. So please don't comment below telling me that my neck looks darker because I know, okay? It's genetics. Okay, thank you. Whisper in the name. No, I can't be changed. My heart belongs to the night. I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm, a, I'm alone. Girl. I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a Another tip that I incorporate now is when I'm done putting my blush, I like to put my blush on my forehead as well, just because with a simple face, you want to restore color and life. And I find that it gives my face back that color and life. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm just telling you guys on the new tips that I have incorporated to make my 10 minute face better. For a thorough talk through um, tutorial, please watch the first video, which is where I pretty much explain all of these steps. Um, but if you can follow steps just based on video, by all means, I'm sure you're able to keep up. I set my face now with a dewy spray instead of a mattifying spray, just because I love that dewy look now. I am really into it, it just gives you so much life.
and of course the fenty universal gloss balm is a must for your everyday look it just gives you that beautiful glow from within And that's pretty much it for my everyday look y'all like did i kill it did i kill it like i just hope you guys know now that i can actually achieve this in 10 minutes the goal is to have a makeup tray okay have a makeup tray where you have all of your makeup laid in there and i promise you you will kill it in 10 minutes every single day but yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video let's count down together and i will definitely see you guys in my next video please don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time on my channel i love you Mwah. Bye! I just want you guys to do this look, love this look, and just look glamorous for work. Okay, okay, that's all I want for everyone. That's it. That's that's honestly it. That's it. Okay. Sucker, 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 sucker